Hey there guys and subscribers out there. I'm going to do a playthrough tonight of the Terminator on Sega Mega Drive. The power Sega Mega Drive. Uh, just before I start, I just want to point out some things about this game. Uh, I won't tell you anything about the story, because that will be revealed in the actual playthrough of the game once I get going. But just some other things in general that I want to point out just before I start. And first of all, I just want to say that um, first point is that this version of the Terminator is based off of the Sega Master System 8-bit version of the Terminator, which I think came out first and was done first before this one. Um, this is this version is more like an upgraded version of the Sega Master System port. And second of all is that this game is really really short just like the Sega Master System version. It only consists of four or five levels. It takes no longer than 10-15 minutes to, to get through. So this should be a breeze to get through for me. I've finished it many times. And third of all is that if you've watched my last video where I talked about the Sega video game soundtracks in Power 50 Hertz games where I showed you an example of how PAL games are often overlooked and how a lot of video games don't play correctly in NTC 60 Hertz well this is this game is another example of that this game was made in the UK okay it was made it was made in Europe it was developed yet again by probe software and it was not corrected in NTC 60 Hertz so either probe decided <coughs> that they didn't want to optimize it for the NTC 60 Hertz signal or they just thought it they just didn't worry about it I don't know maybe it was in their intention to have it faster for NTSC, I don't know. Maybe it's a possibility, but I don't know. But I can tell you that it was not optimized for the NTSC 60 hertz signal, which means it everything is played and sounds faster when it's run in 60 hertz. Now the original speed for this game is PAL 50 hertz. It only runs properly in PAL 50 hertz. So yeah. <laughs> That's how I'm going to play it. That's how I'm going to upload it. And I'm going to be the first one to actually upload this game in the proper speed that it was meant for. And I've noticed that everybody on YouTube has uploaded this game in NTZ 60 hertz <coughs> Yeah. Whether it's the music or, 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 or playthrough, everyone's done it in NTZ 60 hertz I mean, come on, don't, don't these people realise that it's NTSC 60 hertz is not the right speed all the time? <clears throat> so yeah, that's, <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to rant or anything, I'm just saying that it's, this, is, this game is just another reason why PAL is often overlooked. You know, it seems to me that it doesn't matter whether games run faster or slower in power 50 hertz. NTC 60 hertz is always going to be favorited. I mean, I just don't see the significance in that. I think I think 50 hertz is better. But anyway, sit back and enjoy my playthrough. This is going to be a good one. So enjoy.